My name is Jack Trowbridge, and I was assigned to Roswell in April of 1947. I was further assigned into intelligence with Jesse Marcel, who was the head of intelligence, a major. I was a first lieutenant pilot. On this particular evening, uh, we're having bridge at Major Marcel's home. And he was there in a basket. Uh, my wife was there. And all of intelligence was there playing bridge, except Jesse. He was out with a pickup gathering this junk in the debris field. Okay? So when he came in, it was fairly late, I believe. And we broke up the bridge game then to go out and see what Jess had brought in. And it was uh, a, a great interest. It was uh, aluminum in appearance. Uh, there were fragments of aircraft scanner, whatever the thing was, and also some girders. Uh, with pictures of hieroglyphic-like things on it. I took them to be owls, but uh, who knows. Anyhow, it was interesting. I did get to handle the material, and the material had some peculiar properties. For instance, it looked like Hershey bar wrappings, and but you squeeze it up in your hand as hard as you could, let go, and it returned originally to the original shape, instantly. Then the next day, Jesse brought some of the stuff into the intelligence office. And uh, so we looked at it and played with it a while, and then everybody went back to work. Later that day, boom, nobody knows anything, either shut up, nothing happened, uh, etc. And when you're in the service, you do what they say to them. Major Marcel was called up to Fort Worth to show the press what he found. Well, what he had to show the press was really a weather balloon. This stuff was not a weather balloon, what he brought back. So he was forced to lie to the press, so we say. I don't think he was too happy about it, but you do what you're told again. You're in the service. You followed orders. And they were afraid of the American public panicking with this knowledge. I don't think that would have happened, but hey, the word came down from up above and you do what it says. <laughs> 